Yeah, yeah we can give them, you know, talk for anything else. So anything new happening with you guys? No. <laughs> I don't Not know. A thing. Oh, We're still in the I think 30. I brought you up. It's still I think I brought you up today. Yeah. I, so I hear you're warmer than out here in Michigan. We had a good yes, yeah, I am. A couple good days today. 84 degrees. Oh wow. I'm at 34, <laughs> 35. Wow. Uh, I would almost take it right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is terrible. Terrible, terribly hot. Just like that, you can't. You want to get rid of the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Throw oh, a little uh, away. Okay. So they had a tornado hit up north of Houston last night and killed yeah. three people. Mm. Oh, that's tough. That's really a. Uh, it's bad. Those torment tornadoes, man. You just don't know where they're going to come from. Oh, I know. I mean, we got a lot, like an alley, we got a place here they call Tornado Alley, and that's just west of us a little bit and stuff. And that's where like a lot of the big tornadoes have gone through. They just instead of going to the lake, they kind of lake pushes them just uh, just south or west. And it's mm. a lot of places, same places get hit with it all the time. It's so, not fun. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> I'm trying to get well, comfortable on this dang baby. <laughs> Gosh. So, Andrea, you have this one done yet? Have you blocked it in? Are you kidding? I just printed it out two minutes ago. <laughs> good, good. I just want to you have a head start on me. Sabrina, you're done, right? <laughs> Sabrina's not a not, chance. Not a chance. chance. Not a chance. You're going to paint you, this little? You lured me in with that swan. You know how exhausted I am on weeknights. And that dang thing, I thought about it the whole week. This swan? Yeah, yeah. This swan? It's an absolutely gorgeous composition. I can't wait. Well, I shot it right off my dock. So it should be, yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty interesting i mean these this family just they always come up and just feed them little pieces of bread and they just keep coming back the nice thing is they chase the geese off the lake and uh uh the because the geese just make a mess in your yard and stuff down, oh, especially, they do, don't they? Yeah, they, oh they, they don't care do they no they don't <laughs> no they have them around here too and they're awful mother runs them off yeah yeah, I always love swans. I haven't painted them in a while, so this would be should be pretty interesting to see how I uh, mess this one up. But we'll, I'll take a good stab at it with the old uh, Bob Ross try here, right? <laughs> God, yeah, Godspeed. <laughs> good old Bob helping us out tonight. He's going to watch over, right? Yeah, okay. Right. So uh, let me pull it up here then, and we'll see about uh, what I'm thinking about yeah I like the composition too uh, oh one's a 30 there we go oh there we go yeah there you guys can see that yeah yeah oh my gosh yeah okay so uh yeah I kind of I, I like pretty much everything about it and stuff uh Let's just talk about kind of like uh, my, uh, the way to attack it and stuff. I think I think what I'm going to do is probably just you know block in these the whole the background first, and then paint paint these guys in afterwards. I think I'm going to attack it that way and stuff. And then you know one of the things that we remember I think cool important things is these. The, how the shadows work with these guys, how they come straight down from the uh, from the swans and stuff. And, you know, how dark they are. They're very warm compared to how blue these guys are. And so that's really fun. I like, really like this, uh, just a little warmth right there, a little yellow showing through on, on yeah. some of the in here. So I think that's going to be kind of fun to paint, that stuff. These guys back here, uh, I going to try to minimize those guys as much as possible not give them a whole lot of attention probably just make him our hero and and her our hero uh 
and like I said, back here, I'm not going to do too much. It's going to be very painted very simply, I think. I'm not going to, you know, big strokes, big brush. The fun stuff is going to be like uh, the little lily pads and stuff, glints and stuff, a little bit of color there down there. There's not a ton of color down there, but uh, there is some nice, really kind of, highlights in here and if you look at those highlights you can see the pink in these highlights almost they're, they have just a little bit of pink in them you know it's warm pink so it has a little yellow it has a little pink, you know so probably a little uh cad yellow and cad red mixed together with a lot of white for these highlights there i mean not, they're not all going to be that but the, the good big strong ones there like that and like i said uh this guy would be fun to do i mean he'd be a nice little uh added touch to the piece. So any questions, anything you guys think jump out of you as problems or anything? Nada. The okay. lily pads uh, color seems washed uh, out. Maybe it's my tiny monitor, uh, the <laughs> laptop they screen. Are. They they are pretty washed out. They are on the on the dull side of of town. Uh, okay. I, it, a lot of it was I think it was just the it's the angle that they're getting we're down at. If you come up above them more and stuff, yeah, you're gonna probably start catching a lot more color. Um, I think a lot of it's probably with the as you can see the kind of the glare of the of the sky on on the water and stuff. I think that's what's also cutting off a lot of the, the color main color. But there are some cool little shapes and lines and stuff in there and stuff. I'll see how much we can get done of that. But uh, let's we'll concentrate on these guys, you know, first. And then, I mean, after we do the rub in a background, we'll get these guys in. And then we'll see how much time we have left at the end to kind of put this stuff in. I think that stuff isn't too bit too hard. So we should be all right. So. Let's go. I'm going to slide over to the other one. We'll start mixing paint. Yeah, there we are. Hey, it's even straight. It's amazing. Good. Uh, colors again. I'm going to put out some new paint. I'm going to put out a little bit more white this time because there's a lot of white in, the, in this one. Uh, I'll put out, I'm going to put out some of this ble unbleached white too, just in case, but I think, uh, I don't I mean, it might come in handy back in the water somewhere or something like that. Instead of using just white to add, add some other colors to it. Uh, cad yellow, I'm going to put some cad yellow out, fresh stuff, fresh line of cad yellow. Of course, I lose my... My cap right off the bat and rolls away from me. Uh, cad red, I gotta put out some cad red, I'm gonna put out some cad orange for it. Okay, I got ochre already out, that looks pretty good. The other one's uh, Ochre, I got a lizard and crimson. Uh, put out probably just a touch more of the Venetian red out. Find what I Is Venetian red comparable to transoxide red? It kind of is. Just curious. Is it's not as it's not as uh, transparent as that. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's it's a little it's a little. Uh, what do you say? Uh, I think it's a, oxide red is, has is a little more yellow than this. I think that's what it is. Okay. But it's I mean, very you, opaque. Yeah. Venetian yeah. is very okay. opaque, and it's yeah. very close to terra rosa. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yeah. That's the one I'm thinking. Yeah. That's it. And, rosa, and, and right. And transparent oxide red is very close to a burnt sienna. So gotcha. you can pretty much replace those two in Venetian and uh, Terra Rosa. You can, that's what I do. I mean, they're so close in my eyes. 
Okay. Um, let's see, that looks, uh, that's good enough. I got burnt sienna out and burnt, burnt umber from yesterday out. I just need to get some green out. I don't have any green out. I might put pr Prussian out too, because I have, I think there might be some Prussian in that the side here of this guy. And I wanted, you know, this is a little bit stronger color. And of course, I don't see my Prussian off the bat. Oh well. Let's go on without it. If I need it, I'll dig it out. Uh, okay. Um, let's look back in here. You can see a lot of uh, it's very blue, very uh, blue green and greens and stuff up back here. Now this my my print is really bad. I'm just going to be able to point to two areas and stuff for you guys and tell you what colors. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm really gonna mix it off my monitor over here. But this is just a point to say. I'm gonna mix this, these colors here, and uh, some of the water colors. So let's just start off with some blue. I'm gonna go with just a little bit of alizarin on that. Blue and alizarin. They're gonna be very dark. Too dark probably to use back there right away. And put some more blue. Over here to the side. I think I'm gonna just add some white to it right off the back because I know it's there's nothing really this dark in the whole painting. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of touch of white, maybe touch more and more, touch more blue too. And this is just for this back area here, so and I'll probably find some spots in here and stuff too, but not too much. And so I'm going to make one on the, that's a, kind of on the red side and make sure I got a blue side because I know there's a lot of blue in that greens and stuff. And speaking, I just said greens and I'm going to go right to, to the phalo and put that in. So I have three colors. I got a purple, I got a kind of a blue purple. And then I got this green. That's just, it's blue green. And, uh, that's where I'm going to need to just a couple brush strokes full just to break up that that line there. I'm not going to worry about the houses and uh, cottages on the other side. I'm going to put a little bit of like one little pile of a little cad cad yellow mixed into it. Maybe just a touch of red into it too. Yeah, and that's going to be it's just some of these greens back in there. So those colors will be pretty much be able to use back and forth for that color. I'm probably going to need I'm going to need them pro also in in uh, this uh, reflection here. Uh, since I'm going darks and staying with the darks, I'll go right into these guys. Let's go with these uh, baby swans and stuff. Uh, and we're gonna go with, I'm gonna go with blue and a uh, little burnt sienna. I think maybe on the blue side. It's a little different than they just had just a little bit of white. A little too brown. So, not bad. Pretty clear. You know, it'll be, it'll get to about the right, right thing. I'm just going to add just a smidgen of cat orange to it. Warm it up. And then that'll be, you know, and I'm going to make up a couple little piles for these guys. I want to make one, just put a little bit of blue, more blue into it. And I'll take a little bit of that pile over here and I'll, uh, I'm going to put some cad red into it. So we can get really some things to play off of. 
maybe even more cab red to really push it a little bit more. Where I can really see the difference between this one and this one. That's half the battle when you look at these things is making sure you got a big enough step in between your colors that I'm not just wasting a step. You know, you want you want bigger steps. So these guys so do. How big is the pile? Because from up top, it looks like indirect painting, but they're about, about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. How big is the pile? About a half a teaspoon. Okay. They're not much. I mean, they're just enough. Okay. Mix, when I mix all these guys together and stuff, I mean, yeah, by myself, there's not enough to do everything. But little pieces of each other, they'll make it. Okay. They'll make it. Um, so I think this, this, these guys maybe just a little cad yellow one, even. She cheated a little bit. I'll find some spots for her. I can find some cad yellow in this and this and this and this over here too. So, and I, you know, so I'm just gonna make throw some cad yellow in too. So I have uh, just some colors to play with over there on this guy. So I don't get too stagnant with it to one color and stuff. Um, okay, looking at the neck and the body and stuff, let's get this body here, because this body color here, the color, when we make, mix it up, it's going to be able to use it a lot of different places, just, you know, by tinting it up and stuff. Uh, I'm going to go, <laughs> this is my, where, this is what happens with your Prussian blue, it just dries so quickly just becomes nothing. So we're going to have to go with, I'm going to go with, uh, it's all right, we're going to stay with this blue. Mm -hmm. Go with uh, the cobalt blue hue. I'm going to put a, just a little bit of green into it, some phthalo green into it. Then I'm going to cut it with a bunch of white. What's in that blue? Just the sky? Cobalt blue and white? Sorry, yeah. I dropped off cobalt, from the cobalt phone. blue, just a little bit of green, phthalo green, uh huh, and white. And you know, it comes up with this color. It's it's pretty good. I mean, I think Prussian probably would have gotten a better, you know, had a stronger stronger blue into it. But this is a color color. I think it might be had more Prussian in it. Is it the distant water that you're trying to get? No, I'm thinking of, I'm, this is the body. Of oh, the, the body of it. Okay, sorry, I missed it. The okay. It's the basic body uh, of, of this guy. And I'm making the blue because the neck it turns green and then goes to yellow and stuff. But basically, if we do the bottom part, we get the Get the purples and the, this uh, and some of these blues together, and then we'll work our way up. So I was just gonna go from there and go to make some uh, some pretty purples and stuff. So I'm just gonna looking at that. That's kind of a warm purple. Though. It's just it's real subtle. So I'm just gonna use some cad red into this into a little pile. I only need a couple brush strokes this stuff so that's why I'm not making huge piles. That will be in there. I'm gonna make one just a little huh? I heard somebody yelling. No, oh. I'm sitting here I'm sitting here playing with your photo with this oh what is it called? The note notonizer. Uh-huh. And, and still getting the, him. He says, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. No, I am listening to you. I'm just looking at the different <laughs> levels of, of values. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm watching you. Okay, just check it. Just check it. it makes me understand it a little better. <laughs> 
I just mix my colors up ahead of time is because it's just so easier, so much faster when I get painting. It so. really is. And I just wished I had the patience to do that. It's it's how you get consistency in your paintings. You gotta you gotta just have your plan and stay with it. I agree. I'm gonna try. Just it's when it, I get the paint. When you get yeah, you went all the way down there and didn't take any paints. I can li listen. I it was it was <laughs> quick. That sounds quick. Did you just drive, jump in the car, and drive, huh? No, oh, yeah, I had some stuff I had to do, but I packed a suitcase and I told mother, I said, well, I didn't get here with enough clothes, but I will. Yeah. What's in that mix? This, this one, one yet yeah, uh, is just some of this uh, blue uh -huh. uh, cat, uh, uh, phalo blue, phalo green, uh -huh. and white right now. I'm just thinking about. I mean, I had, I'm getting it about the right value that when I add some, I'm going to go with some ochre into it. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't hear your TV, Mama. I didn't want to share your TV with everybody. Ah. <laughs> Mama's asking me why I had the door shut, and I didn't want y'all to have to hear her TV, too. Is it that loud? It's okay. It's, I don't hear it now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, no, uh, this is, I added a little bit of ochre to the pile. This, so this is a, uh, uh, phalo green, cat, uh, cobalt blue, a lot more white. Then I added just a little bit of ochre to it to get this kind of a green to it. So you're getting a little green. Uh, and then, uh, I want to also have, a a uh, kind of a red that balances off that green in the neck and stuff. So I have some harmony, extra color harmony. So I want to get a kind of a red to mix mix in with this thing a little bit here and there before I go to some warmer color. These are just really neutral kind of dead grays and stuff, I think. And these are, are going to help make uh, the warms the the next the next values as we start going up the neck. Uh, and this one, this, I mean, they're going to be about the same. Be able to use a lot of the same colors from this neck to this neck and stuff on these swans. So I'm going to uh, and just using the the the, the background uh, to help uh, mix it, dirty up the colors enough. So I'm gonna mix this and just keep stealing from these piles. I'm gonna add just a little bit of yellow to it. Start getting, thinking about getting to these neck colors and stuff. And by adding, you know, yellow and orange, there's some uh, yellow and red, I start getting an, an orange in here. But it doesn't look like orange yet. Looks very dull. So. These three colors, I want them really tight. So when they look at them, they, they can't tell, you know, what color they are if you squint your eyes. And if I did that right, you know, it will work. These guys will be able to use them any way I want, even though I used up a lot of my, my finger red. All right. I'm going to go to the some brighter colors now. Just starting off with some of this ochre, a little bit of ochre-ish color, and a lot of white. I'm going to start thinking about these back, some of these back colors. And just by cleaning my knife with all the other colors that are in it, because I got some, got picking up some green, I can see a lot of yellow in my knife. And it's just dulling it enough, you know, cut with white and just a little bit more ochre. And I got a lot of work. It's going to do a lot of damage back here, this color. It's almost a putty color. Not really like bleach, one bleach white, but a couple, you know, stops ahead of that. So when I start doing these whites, 
what I want in these whites, I want some warm whites and I want some very cool whites. And even if they're not, I don't see them in here in, the, in its back and stuff, I still gotta have them. I gotta have some cool whites, especially some blues and light, you know, just white and a white and just a touch of blue. Really high, high, high key. You know, it's almost white. And that against some, some white, a lot of white, and just a scratching of yellow into it. Those two playing off each other will come in really nice in the back of this, this swan. Uh, also, I am going to make just a little bit of, take a little bit of that Venetian, put it in here too, and get one up there, way up there too, because I can see some, some Venetian in the back of that wing there, just probably, the Venetian makes kind of a nice coral uh, color here that will blend in. So all these guys will go together. Uh, one more I would like to have. And it's going to be blue or purple. And I can probably just use the Venetian and blue mix here. Way too strong for that. Strong. Just a scraping of that and then a ton of white. I like this, just a nice purple it makes. I get enough Venetian in here without taking over. Makes a nice gray purple, almost like that. But at a, on a high key area like this, it's nice to have. And I like kind of, you know, mi mixing it with these. All these guys mixed together should work out pretty well. So it's really nice color. You'll be able to find that color even down in probably in this area here, maybe a couple, couple steps up. Maybe it's not quite as light as that, but it's gonna be there. Just not wasting any paint here. This is just gonna, I know I'm gonna have this in here too, so I'm just gonna mix up that blue and a little bit, a little bit of white, not much, just enough. Just leave it over here, and it has just a little Venetian in it too, but it's kind of a blue gray, and I'll be able to find it in this guy. Uh, now I gotta clean, now before I clean my, clean this, let me take, Start working on this water a little bit more. Thinking about that water, that's a big, pretty big pile. And it's gonna be a lot of, a little bit of blue. Gonna have some greens in it, some other colors. It's gonna be a lot of different colors in it, but we've gotta start with a base tone here. So just mix, start getting, thinking about getting it to the right value for level first and then I'll start that would be value get it up to the right value first way lighter than that and then I'll dull it out and this is going to be a really nice pile to dig from for pretty much anything you'll probably be able to go in there you can be able to uh, find some good areas for it all right, well, let me see, just make it, I'm gonna use the rest of my white. I, I put out that whole thing of white. I'm gonna make one rolling light pile. Well, just blue and white right here. Not as light as that, but. And then just a hair of green. So I have 
And then if I have green, it's just too strong. By itself. And this is going to be need just give me just a little red. I'm going to go with some Liz for a minute just to gray it out. So I got that, that, that. All I need, I think now. Was yeah, that yeah. red or alizarin? Uh, alizarin red. Okay. I, but I just put it, I scraping. I mean, you could probably almost do without it, but whenever I make one of these colors like that, when, when I have green, it's phthalo green or something, I, I mm -hmm. just like to put a little bit of red into it just to take the curse off it. And then I want to just have one really nice blue. I always have couple piles of blue that are just in when they're in a, in the value range just by themselves because you're going to find it but there's a spot here here and going through you can't see it in the photo this or this printout but there are some really nice blues to really go for and you'll see it you'll see it when I uh, when I paint it when they so I'm just gonna do that and I should have some purples too. I'm gonna go. Sorry, I always have. Let go one more, and then um, then I'm done. Then I swear I'm done. Oh, somebody wants on. Who's that? Oh, Sabrina. It's just me. Okay, it was just you coming up. Just uh, did my did making sure I didn't. Think. Okay. Got some dead. See, a lot of these things right here, these, Sabrina, these are when we were talking about the, the lily pads and stuff. Almost any of these colors right in here, these light ones, will probably fit in here. Of course, they have a little bit more green in them. Like this one will probably fit in this area really nice. Or mix it with that and stuff. But just inter intermixed in these piles, you know. But basically, to start this thing off, we want to have them in their pile, have them in their right as they go. All right, let me, uh, I'm gonna put out, I got new oil, and I'm gonna start, tone my canvas just over here with uh, the one spot here for, and I'm gonna tone it with uh, Venetian red. Now I'll come over here and turn my camera back on. We'll be ready to go. I got that guy up there. You know, you can see it. One second. While you are fixing it, I have a question. You do? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, about a year ago, my basement flooded a little bit, like about three inches of water. Anyway, Ooh. so a lot of my canvases got ruined, which is fine. I mean, I live. Oh, it's but the big canvas roll, one of them, Ooh. yeah, got water in it. And so it was like all, you know, moldy and stuff. But I salvaged oh, I the top, top half. Yeah. So I salvaged it, but a corner started yellowing. Do I keep that corner, yellowing corner, or do I let it go? Uh, I put some bleach on it. If you, I mean, okay. if, it's, if, it's, if you haven't painted it yet, no, you know, put, some, put some bleach on it or something like that. It'll kill the mold or anything, uh, mildew that's going through it. And uh, yeah, it should, you know, after that, just, you know, wash, get some water on it and wipe it off. And then you'll be good to go. Okay. Just a little yellowing is, you know, isn't too bad. Okay. I mean, it is out in the open, so it should be dried by now. It's been a while. Okay. 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 All right. Well, then, you know, uh, 
That was probably a big roll too. Usually, it's you usually only have the really big roll. Uh huh. It was good expensive canvas. Yeah, it was Raphael, so it was a bummer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's it okay. Is a it's okay. That's all right. No, I know. Hey, no. it's okay. I'm just I'm just sketching this out. It's just no big deal. This is just a twelve by uh, or a sixteen by twenty. I'm just getting, just getting the canvas ready to accept paint. It's always just this one is just a brand new pack. I'm painting on those uh, panels and stuff. You can just see it bleed beating up here, even my oil. So, do you still job. get them from the um, ASW Express? I. I used to, but I don't, I just get them from Jerry's now because they raised their okay. prices as soon as they, uh, the, they had the tariffs on China and stuff because they were coming from China. Oh, I see. Their prices went up and they were like a couple pennies more expensive than Jerry's. And then I they see. wanted me to, you know, then they still wanted me to do the warehouse uh, yeah. fee. And there was no reason to because I'm getting free shipping at Jerry's already. So it's like... And the thing is, Jerry's is part of them. I mean, they're owned by Jerry's. It's the same company. Yeah, it's yeah. the same company. <laughs> it's, it's like, what the heck? Anyway. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah. So we got this up top, I, you know, the line up top here about where we top, close. Uh, let's see, the goose, the, I mean, the, the swan, where he goes. Don't want him exactly in the middle. I want to push him over this side a little bit. So I want to make sure his neck's not going to get there. I want to give enough room here, just a little bit of an angle. You know, just a little bit of this stuff here. Make sure I have enough room for the baby swan over here. Yeah, you know, and the other swan over here. Okay, the tail goes in here between them. And the neck. I don't know, there's a couple, I had a couple students that said, this is too hard, the swan one. And I, <laughs> it's just a shape, right? Simple, pretty sh simple shape. I mean, I, we're not getting really, too far into these uh, feathers or anything. I'm not going to be going nuts on them. So I got the basics in here. This guy's, let's see where I want him. Down hill, right about in here. Give him enough room that he's not too close to this, the edge here. Always the thing is, it's more important to get this the design right than it is to uh, get it painted right away. That, just think, just get it done right first. Okay, this is okay. Might have to move the neck back a little bit. Okay. Uh, shadow this. You like that? All right. Let me shake, you know, I'm drawing it at it from an angle here. So that's my excuse. Okay, I can always use that excuse. The reason it didn't look all right is because I was drawing it from an angle. 
Okay. You don't have to believe it. You don't have to go with it, but hey. All right. I'm just going to, just for a little bit of sake, we could white, pull out just a little bit of white here, get it started. See if my drawing's right. I know this is Venetian right here. I got a little bit too heavy right in here. It should be almost halfway up the neck. This, you know, this line here should be almost halfway up. So um, I'm probably just a little too high. But I think I even not quite there. Pretty close, so I'll fix it. Sooner or later, I'll fix it. Get this neck in. Right into the neck. My neck comes up there. Okay. All right. Andrea, you start coloring yet? No. At least I'm not making a, a cow look like a dog this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did so well on that cow, that dog. <laughs> well, I, no, no. I have so many geese around where I live that if it looks like a goose, <laughs> That's what I'll go. Yeah. I can relate to a goose because I've seen them more than a swan. But if you go oh, yeah. to northern Michigan um, toward uh, the Shanty Creek area, there's these little lakes, and they, uh, they're they big enough lakes that the swans frequent up there. I, yeah. I these parts. But. So, huh. Yeah, these guys have been, I don't know if these are the same ones, but I mean, they're supposed to come back every year. So. Do you live in that area? Uh, no, I just have a cottage there, I, in, up in Sand in in South Haven. Well, it's not South Haven, but it's near South Haven. That's where we get off. Just a little inlet lake. Are you from Michigan? No, I'm from Wisconsin, but Michigan's easy to get to, you know, from Chicago. You know, for a lot easier. I mean, oh, okay. from where I am, at least. I mean, getting up to oh, Wisconsin sometimes can be a, on a Friday night. Get it. I like the Wisconsin State Fairs, though. <laughs> in West Africa. Yeah? They were really in their heyday. They're really nice. I didn't. Uh, Especially if you like cream puffs. <laughs> oh, so you're a big cream puff girl, are you? Yeah. <laughs> The longest line at the oh. James, you need a binder clip to put that up there at the top I, and hook it on the side. I do, I do. I gotta grab something here. I got the wrong, I got a different picture here. Been looking at this one, and I, I yeah, I should I do have a clip. I do have a clip. Fine, I got a clip. There you go. Now yeah. you're a professional. <laughs> That's all it took. Get a clip, and you're a professional. Now just lift it up. So you, guys, you guys can see that. though. good. Okay, you guys can see it. I'm not too worried about uh, the background there. I'm just going to put it in real quick here first, even though that's all right. I'm going to might go. So I'm just going to go with that first color, the blue and the little lizard, and you know, and put it back in here real quick. I'm going to keep it kind of light. I'm using my big brush, which is about an inch and a half. And so I think this is, so I'll just use that as a guide and just use it. Make that an inch and a half. And then just put in some of these other blue greens in here to break it up. I don't want to waste too much time on this part. 
in though it's it's just going to get covered up with that paper now anyway because it has a clip on it so just some of the greens that, that go in that you're catching up the top here you guys i don't know if you guys the glare is going to get you guys or not The glare is better than it used to be, though, isn't it? Uh, oh, it's very good. Is it? Yeah, it's clear now. There's no it's, glare. I don't know. I just, you did I'm, not sure, I'm not sure why that was that bad. It was really bad one day. So, um, like Set I said, it was. Yeah. Huh? Setup was a little pushed back, I think. And I think you adjusted the light up top. Maybe. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I put a piece of cardboard up there. I, usually you want yeah. all the light you can get, you know. And so, uh, you know, when you're video not, not when you have like five cameras on you, probably not. Yeah. So. So, uh, like I said, it's just going to go right into this water. It's not going to be really exact yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to get it in. And just follow the strokes a little bit here. Uh, and I'll, I'll clean it up and basically it's got a lot of, a lot of blue green jet from up there coming in my, into my paint, these, these thin paints. But the object here is just to block it in quickly. Hopefully, Maybe a couple of these strokes will be good enough to use or keep. You know, maybe maybe it'll turn out interesting. You know, maybe I got lucky and I did the, uh, you know, just put down the right right motion to it. But I don't, I'm not going to have to live with that. And it's getting bluer and bluer as I come down. I still got to go a little green spot in there. I'm not going to like it. You saw how easy I put in the swan's heads. I'm not going to worry too much about going around them either. Because they're just going to they're going to have a lot of this color. This whole color is going to have to be pushed back and look pretty far anyway, it looks like. Looks like I'm a little too bright. He's probably going to be grayed out at the end. Well, let's get something to play with. A lot brighter than that, but just as I come down here, though, down here, I want to keep it just a little. This is where I'm putting in that kind of a, uh, this little uh, Venetian and blue and gray making this blue gray here. I'm going to use that as a good base tone down here. And then uh, that'll work. Just a break, get this going, and then I'll fix it later. Big brush, big ideas. Okay. Um, I don't like those colors. You what? I like the you don't blue like? colors. I do like them. Oh, okay. Uh, you Do know, you see I'm them waiting, as I'm bright? I for one of you guys to be a critic and say, I hate those colors. And I hate what you're doing. <laughs> no, <And> you... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> now, do you see mark... that color, though? Do I see Do this I color? See it? Uh huh. No. I mean, reference is much washed out. 
Oh, mm -hmm. this thing. Being that it, color. Yeah, yeah. You got to look at the video. You look at the. I I always paint from my uh, my monitor over here. Yeah, and these these colors are very more vibrant. I mean, I might. I think my cartridge is going anyway, and this is not even, uh, you know, photo paper. It's just crappy, uh, you know, Xerox stuff. Yeah, I, I wasn't talking about the printout. I was just talking about the reference photo. Um, yeah, I always have a hard time finding the right color, right? So I was just wondering. Oh, do I really see these colors in here? Yeah. Uh, I know they're there. Yeah, I do see them. You can see them. You can see the blues and the, the blues and the mm -hmm. purples and stuff. I can see those. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just so tight, though. I mean, that's the thing is you want to keep these colors really tight. This would, and they'll work. Uh, they're probably a little even redder than these purples and these guys are I have right now in here. But. Uh, Okay, let's, let's go to a different bristle brush. I'm staying with my bristle brushes, big bristle brush. Make sure I've got all the last paintings paint out of here. And uh, I'm gonna get right into here. Just put, start putting in some cools at the bottom. There's some cools right here at the bottoms, but right here at this line, that's a warm, this is kind of a very warm line right here. Uh, I can almost see some orange in it and stuff. So, but, so I'm gonna put in just a little bit of purple in this body right off the bat here. There we go. Uh-oh, see? Purple was not the right choice. Got somebody to, I could hear you. And then I'm going to go back with that blue that's in here. These are going to be a little bit stronger than normal than the, than what they are here yet. And I'm going to push them back. Just warning you right now. I'm just I'm going for strength right now and then pushing them back a little bit. That's why I'm putting them in with a bristle so they're light. But. I'm not going to worry about the highlights yet. Because uh, as soon as you put a, put in a mid-tone in top of that, just knocks it down to about the right spot. Okay. Into the neck. That neck comes out just a little bit wider, goopier. Just gonna put a little thin in there. Ooh. This is just a little green. This is that uh, uh, phthalo green, blue, and a lot of white. Just on the, and then it had just a little ochre into it. Uh, that's what I'm using right here into the neck. I see some greens and stuff. These are going to be underneath and stuff. So I mean, there's plenty of cools and stuff that got to go in here yet too. I just want to get these major uh, colors ideas in here. And then because I want to work up to kind of an orange, orange your head up top. But it has a lot of, a little bit of, you know, just has a little more, uh, just a little red into it. But I want to get that and then start bringing it around and working it down into the neck for a little bit. Then it just more, more comes down to the side of the neck instead of the middle. So it comes down this side over here. And then that red. This is kind of a that dull red. Go in the middle of the neck. 
that will make this neck come forward, come around, and not sit, you know, be flat. So I have a little bit darker right in the middle, and that's going to come forward with a little cooler or a little bit lighter color, yellowish color right here on the outsides. We'll push this, we'll make that neck go round for us. And then just same thing on this side, it has to be just a little cooler so it's going to have a little more blue on the edge here. So the two edges are, and it'll make it feel like it's three dimensional, more three dimensional. Find some cool, nice things there. While I'm doing that, now I'm going to look at this guy over here. It's really the girl. And think about, well, I got the colors on, on here. Just working them in a little bit now over here. Okay, everybody with me? Mm hmm. You're against me. You're not with me. You're against me. I'm with you. Oh, see, see, there we go. You can't. I'm a cheerleader. Yeah. She can't afford to have anybody <laughs> anymore. <laughs> You're down there all by yourself. I am half asleep, so I'm gonna hang another twenty you minutes. Have Come on, <laughs> twenty minutes. My day starts very early, like What's six. Up? Oh. Six, because of uh, what? Because uh, you're working with your Italian guy. No, I mean that's my day job. Italian guy didn't bother me today much. I was impressed. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's all good. Not every day is uh, fighting fires, but uh, I do have to work. In the you morning. do. It's well, okay. You know, no, I of course I do. <laughs> Anyway, this is being video. <laughs> this is being taped anyway, so you don't you won't miss anything. You can always catch up. We'll make a lot of fun, a lot more fun of you when you're gone, though. I want you to know that though. That's, <laughs> that's to deal with. That is, you know, just the way it goes. And in here, it, it is moving faster here today. Saturday, there's so much talk and <laughs> and stories. Oh. Saturday, you go four hours and still you're going, you know. Yeah, yeah. Saturday, that was, that's the group who've been around for together for so long. They just like yeah. to talk a lot. Yeah, I like it. Doesn't stop me. I'm still painting. I don't, you know, I just listen in to the conversations and stuff and, or try to instigate them. That's all. Yeah. That's half the fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> you knew that Saturday group for a long, long time. Oh yeah, since you come on, you sh since you were in in Chicago. Yeah, before, I thought you bit. knew them even before that. Just a little bit. I mean, I was yeah, not, not too much. Long. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah, it was like what 2012 or something, right? Yeah. yeah. Your ears. They've talked about you. Over and over, I tell you, Karen, every time we paint something purple, <laughs> anything she brings up that tube you brought out, and you know, she's just amazed <laughs> that that color worked so well. It was perfect because I was struggling trying to make a purple that, 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 that you works. You need to with pick lavender. another purple composition. You do. Ah. I do. Oh, you want just because you want to use your tube. <laughs> I need to Which use that tube. That? It was a dioxide purple. So uh -huh. the one time in 2013, we we're doing a lavender field, and I'm like, I have this dioxide purple. I'm going to use it. It's you know, no pre mixing. Right. So I used it, and then I see Karen struggling a little bit. I'm like, here, let's cheat so I, I gave her a dab and she was so <laughs> impressed with the color you know it's been what almost a decade and she's still talking about it yeah that's, that's 
See, you left your mark on us, on the, on the yeah. guys. For sure. So. Oh, yeah. Power of purple. <laughs> so, these guys back in here, just kind of kind of blue grays I'm using here. I'm just using, so this is the glycerin crimson. No, not glycerin crimson, this is a gun. Just a, a different mid-tone uh, of uh, um, Venetian and blue and stuff. And I'm going to put some browns into him and stuff too, but on the one side, he's, you can see a lot of blue in them and stuff. So I just put a little bit in all these guys maybe into the tail here too. And see, when we're done, see, it looks just like it. Perfect. Sign it. Yeah. Gun. I still got to figure out, get this right. This comes down just a little bit more. I'll get it with white. I want to get this dark in here too. Really dark. I'm going to might even go, I might even go really dark. This is back in here. This is the blue and green and stuff. Maybe this, this will pop, is what's going to probably pop out these uh, lily pads right in here and stuff. So you want to get some really darks in there and maybe some some dark reds right right in the tail here. And there's a some nice darker reds mixed in with these blues. You can just feel the warmth coming out. Let's put in here, start getting the right shape. That goes really red. Right in here, it's almost Venetian red right in here. This spot there, a lot of Venetian red in that. Popping it, that's what's popping it. Flattening out, making it come forward is the contrast. We'll do the contrast of that uh, darkness. So I wanna get that, make sure that comes out. Get this in here just a little bit. Cheated over there, make sure I got it. Uh, same with this guy, not quite as much. He's not as, doesn't have. So a lot of times it's just brush pressure. I change colors, being able to change colors just with how hard I push my brush down and stuff. So because I let it mix, it'll mix a little bit more here if I push, don't push as hard. It's, and so uh, it, uh, it blends and it, it'll fall back into space just a little bit better. And uh, here, here I want to keep it really dark on the neck and this guy let's give a little bit of okay. um let me go with the Go with my medium brush right now. I want to start putting in just a little bit of more of these, the face things here. Yeah, let me go probably really dark again. This is just going to be lizard and crimson mixed in with the, the blue. And uh, see about that shape. It's going to be hard to get it really dark since I already part painted on it. So, 
Okay, you guys, in about seven minutes, yeah, wait a minute, yeah, about seven minutes, it's going to be 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20, 20, 20. See, you got to stay up for that. Military time, it's going to be 20, 20, 20, year 2020. Yeah. Ooh. It's only going to happen once in our lifetime. That's Speak for yourself. To my friend. <laughs> according to my friend. Yeah. Yes. That was a very important message she sent me. Okay. <laughs> 20, 20, 20. I, so we got to get. I should. Well, you better. It's, it's every up. night of this year. Is it's every it? night. Is yeah. It's, it's every night, night of this year. Tonight at 8 20 and 20, 8, 20. In military time. It will be 2020, 2020, 2020. Come on. And every night there's 820. So this year, right? So. No, but the, the, the date, the date is the Oh, 20th. the date. Yeah. Yeah. The date is the 20th. Actually, actually y'all, wait, wait, wait. actually, this is, this is hilarious. She sent it to me as now, but actually, yeah. it was Tuesday a, night. <laughs> yeah, it's 23rd oh. today. Yeah, oh. so actually, I just happened to look at this, and I thought, Marilyn, oh, my God. <laughs> she but didn't no, check it you out. you are right, though. You are right. 2020, 2020 happens every night. 820 of 2020 this year. We can look True. at it that but way, this, too. This was, yeah. this was the 20th day of the month. Uh -huh. They added that. 2020 wow. I mean, on it the is 20th. You just, you just ruined it for me. I was all excited <laughs> about this, and then to find out we missed it already. <laughs> hey, I'm going to send it back to her and say, don't you mean Tuesday night? Last <laughs> Tuesday night? She's going to go. <laughs> Sorry, you're a couple of days late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I really shouldn't burst her bubble. That is really yeah. looking good. <laughs> I'm gonna start putting in some whites real quick here, just to get see where I am. Start putting in a little bit stronger uh, whites in these I things. I need to order some Prussian blue. That's really good. Prussian green. I don't have it. Like it. This, yeah, I got. Uh, I never had it on my on my. Uh, my uh, palate for me for the longest time. This is like somebody else was using it, and they said they wanted us to use it for the workshop, and mm -hmm. you know, this, you know. I I don't even have phthalo green. You don't have phthalo green? No, I have something called phthalo cayenne blue, and I have some. Halo turquoise blue, mm. but uh, those were purchased for to paint some ocean that I never did. Okay, what was that green? The the halo halo turquoise turquoise, uh, okay. and the other one is halo cayenne blue. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's a cheap color. It's not like, not like a big deal. So, you know. Well, my blue is your brush, it... but look at the output. What? The it ruins your brush, but look at the output. It oh. looks great. <laughs> yeah. Any color is good if you know how to use it, right? It can be good. Yes, you're right. You know, I, that's the thing. It's just, I'd, I'd never liked Phthalo Green with, at all. I would never use it because it's, like I said, it's just too strong and it just uh, takes over. It just doesn't do anything I like. You know, but then you, you see somebody who does use it and they you get to, you know, you get a different idea of how, how to use it. And uh, just made a whole different, you know, a lot of sense. I mean, I don't. I like to rather mix my my own green sometimes, but 
he was getting such nice grains and stuff like I can't get. So, you know. You were jealous. Yeah, heck yeah, I'm jealous, you know, but I'll, I still, even though, but the problem is, even now that I have, I do have it on my palate and stuff, I still, it doesn't get me anywhere. <laughs> it doesn't get me to where I wanted to be and stuff, so. Now I'm going back into my shadows here a little bit. Now color correcting just with a couple of a couple of lighter colors going in over it, and it kind of pushes everything into the realm it's supposed to be. Uh, these are this right here is that blue, just blue and white mixed. Really a really just a, mixes in here really well, and yes, a little. I want to keep this very loose, very painterly. So I'm really looking for like, like strokes and stuff. And when I start doing this kind of stuff, I look for big strokes. What's the big stroke there in, in this thing? There's one there. There's one right underneath it, you know? And then there's back in here, there's a couple little strokes you push back and then off into that. So I want to keep those kind of really loose. A little bit of brightness in there and there. I'm bringing it a little cooler in the, up to here. And that, that comes back down. I'll come over here and I'll Put in a couple of blue, whites, and pinks on him, and we're on her. She's a lot more yellow. She's catching a lot of light on this one side. This is like yellow and white mix, my high key. I'm going to go with a little pinker just on top here, on their top part. It just goes a little pinkier because it's not catching it's the lights from the side here, so it's really caught that one spot and then back in here. Make sure I got get that neck goes in there. I'm gonna get that tail. And I'm gonna go with yeah, still a little pink. You see where it does mixes in a little bit. Okay, it comes down all the way down, touches, it goes a little blue on this side. It's a little purple right there that made that kind of a, a little, uh, this has a blue and this is uh, the, uh, Cad red mixed in and white. Just getting it in there. Oh, I didn't even mix in anything for their beaks. I figure the beaks are kind of orangey, but uh, they're very dark and rich. I'm going to go. Since I have Venetian out, I know Venetian is going to get me really close to it. Almost pure Venetian. Just cut with just a touch of yellow. It's going to get me pretty much up in here. At least for the meat, you know, blocking it in and stuff. So I can start judging where, you know, everything is. Start making my real changes and stuff in these paintings. Ooh, got a little long there, it looks like. Push it back. This one has just a little more cat.
Red. I always look for red whenever there's it's really bright out. I look for like uh, look for a little red somewhere on uh, one of the sides of the head or one of or shadow areas where it's shadows coming from into from shadows coming into light. I always find just a little bit of uh, cad red right on the edges and stuff. Like I would, I'd see right in here. Maybe on, on the back edge here, there'll be a little bit of cad red right on the edge, drawing edge. That's if you have a, you know, it's usually the last thing I do. I'll throw that in. Try to get it in these areas here. Yes. Just for fun. Okay, so let me uh, just do a couple strokes on these guys, either the browns or the reds. And they're just gonna be pretty simple. Browns, reds, and blues mixed with Well, it looks like uh, Illinois are going to be on lockdown for another month. Where it is. Really? Am I? I am the only one here. Everybody left. <laughs> Where'd they go? I don't know. Just you know, Sabrina's sleeping. <laughs> no, no, I'm here. You got my attention. Our manufacturing is opening up on week of May fourth. Yeah. Like one, sh yeah, one shift, and then gradually it will, gradually it will ramp up. Yeah, but uh, going to office, I think um, what some places have have implemented, like you go two days one week, three days another week, something yeah. like that, but. Yeah, but I technically can do all my work from home. And people are realizing how much work can be done from home. Yeah, I know. They, so. it, it was always a big thing about that, you know, going into the office or working from home. Like if mm -hmm. you were really working or if you were just playing, you know. Other people. <laughs> exactly. That's what I do. I go to office and play. Well, I know. Well, you, that's what a lot of people do. That's what they go love to go no, to. The actually, office. yeah, but if some, I don't know. Face to face work goes so much faster You're in right. my mind. I think you, you you can really tell what's going on a little bit quicker. Yeah. 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 Over the phone, it sounds like people are demanding, but when you are in front of them, you could see them struggle. Yeah. So, yeah, it's different. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. So, uh, my wife, uh, I know she's digging staying home, <laughs> working from home. She doesn't want to do that hour and a half drive every day. So she's hoping when it does come back to normal that she'll be able to at least, you know, work a few more days at home. Oh, yeah. It's not going to be immediate. Not everybody will go back immediately. I'm dreading, yeah. actually, even though I miss going to work. Yeah, I, I'm dreading. I'm dreading. I'm not looking forward to going there full time with the fact that I'm nervous. Who's, am I spreading something or is somebody else spreading yeah. you know, the germ? Yeah, or what else you're <laughs> taking home and stuff, right? Right. Right. Uh, so these guys just need some highlights. Yeah, they need a lot of love, and yet let's get a 
let's work on these guys a little bit. I started working, trying to get something a little more darks in here for when I do put a couple of lily, lily pads in here. You know, I got some, some fun colors underneath. So I'm looking at, one of the things you want to look at is these little blues and purples and stuff in here. If you can get them in underneath before you put the greens on top and let the, the stuff sometimes, and then you put them, then I put the glints of uh, like light pinks and purples and stuff on top of the lily pads on top of that. And it should all mesh together for nice. Oh, I didn't ever even put in the, the thing here. Did I? Forget all about that. I wasn't paying attention to this guy here. The, I'll put it in. In a minute, I got my brush loaded with a uh, different color here. I'm going to go with some yellow ochre and white here. And do the highlight. And sometimes you get highlights paint wise and stuff. You got to dip your brush in oil right at the end. You know, and so when you put it on, it will, the line will stay, you know, clean. Not quite right enough. So when you start bringing it in, then it starts to dirty up, then you can use it somewhere else. Let's get its head about the right size now. See, I was going to, you I always work towards the highlights, knowing that the highlights are going to be the drawing part that's really going to you know, mm -hmm. make this guy finish him off right. You know, and I just got nice. to get the highlights in a few, few spots. Yeah, just that little flick, it really, you know, <laughs> it can do you it. You have it can to do build up to it. Yeah. Yeah. So you well, have yeah, to build the thing up is, yeah, you don't. You got to know when you're going to do it and you got to have everything, yeah, ready for it. You know, if you're going to put it in too soon, then you got to get more paint to do. I mean, I can go back right. in over here. Yeah, it's just one of those things. It's just and half the stuff is, is knowledge is just painting, 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 painting. Painting. So I'm I'm dropping off at the climax, so I'll follow up later. You oh, okay. Post the video then. I'll. All right. I will. Thank you, everyone. Bye. All right. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Thank you. All right. We can talk about her. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. I'm not here, and I'm still here. Oh. She's a pretty wonderful painter, though. She can, uh, she does people really well. She does. So, yeah, she paints some some pretty nice people and stuff. Cause I know she's gonna be listening later, so I, I want to get that. <laughs> <laughs> get a few good things so in nice. Hear good things about her. Yeah. Yeah. Just going in with some lighter blues. I'm gonna start cleaning up these, uh, find a couple good spots back in here for the uh, tail. Right in here, some little bit of rock aqua type uh, colors. And then, Cause I gotta, I'm trying to get those guys in before I go ahead and uh, put in my, uh, cause in my final, highlights and stuff so they don't I don't know, get too dirty make sure these strokes are going in the right direction bring back a few things here that's right Cause I still got to dull down. Basically, I got to dull down this a uh, little bit of this. This water got to be grayed down yet. When I put put through that, these, these colors are really going to be nice. They're really going to start singing. Now I'm putting put in some little purples back in here. 
in the back back of these feathers. Try not to do too much. Right here in the neck, got a little, okay, this is too dark, too light. Push it over a little bit too, I think. One big thing, another thing when you do this stuff, especially when you, I'm always talking about it, necks, long necks or highways or tree limbs or anything like that. You know, whenever you got to come across an area that's just very long, make sure you don't take too long of a stroke going down and stuff that don't make it too plain. Sometimes you got to dig in and go against the direction a lot. Just to have, make sure you have some, make it interesting. Okay, this guy, this guy came up pretty quick. Let's see. I don't know too much, but too much more to do here. Just a little bit of green in this neck coming up. And blew it out a little bit. This comes down, just blew it out. It's really, you almost push it even. Sometimes the best thing is to push it just make it int more interesting. Like this, just do this. No, I don't want to miss a little stroke. Get a little red right in there. I don't know why. Just, just get it in here. Okay. I can see it a little bit.
draw. I was trying to get the drawing straight before I when I get, get do get to the point of putting them a few more colors into this water. All right. Uh, I'm going to wipe off a little bit of color there. I'm just going to put in this uh, little lily. So, I'm just going to put in these are kind of a dark, these are like a warm purple and for the sh shadow. We'll just cut with just a little bit of ochre, so it's kind of a blue, uh, blue and red, blue and uh, uh, what kind of red is that? That was uh, that was cad red, so cad red and blue and a lot of white, and just a little bit of ochre into it, and then I'm just going to come back with. mix of, yeah, that'll work. Um, this is Venetian and white. I was using it back in here and stuff on that guy. And I'm gonna start, I think I can go right over here. It's sort of just a little too bright, so I'm gonna knock it down. A little, a little bit. Get these guys in. She'll just sit there and let it rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark outside, and I don't pick up the phone at, at night. <laughs> well, if it's not a number she recognizes, she won't pick it up and talk. Yeah, well, I don't blame her there. I mean, well, how many Yeah. And they bought her. They gave her one of those phones for the hearing impaired. <laughs> It's just oh, a yeah. real laugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you pay the Very price. Mm-hmm. She hates uh, it. How old is your mom? She's 89. Ooh. And still oh. driving up until this. Yeah? Yeah, she's pretty sharp. Damn flip-flops, get her. <laughs> you know, I know I've, I've known people with yoga pants and stuff going downstairs and go walking downstairs, get their feet caught and going down and breaking stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Putting in, working on that uh, back one here. The it's getting the highlights on these guys back in here. Trying to keep them darker than these guys, but still very painterly, very just very, you know, just a little bit of highlight, pretty much everything else. Yeah. You know. Just a little darker. Get these highlights in and then I will start thinking about correcting some things. Being all blocked in.
something about here. I'm just using some of the cad yellow, mix almost the cad orange just a little bit, just to start getting into that little area there, and popping out. That's what I'm gonna. where else I can put it. Now I can start looking at it and start going, okay, there's a couple things here and here there. Just tone it with just a touch of one of these colors, yellow or whites and stuff. And I can start seeing about getting in a few of these, these guys, um, lily pads. That's what they're called, lily pads. Yes. <laughs> And it's really just uh, what I'm going to try to do is just get the basic color and use the colors I already have down here as everything else. So there's one lily pad here, and I'm just going to try and make an oval with my brush really lightly and see if it mixes in with some colors. And there's another one right next to it, just about the same color, just a little bit bluer. I got a brighter green one right from here. Keep on going with that. Another one right here. It's more one right here. Then we go green again. One big green one, I think this one here should have been, should have broke over. And that's about really it for, for that. I mean, there's only a few more here I even can really see. Those guys, these guys are all good to like another, get another run through of, of shape and a little bit of color and stuff. And a little bit using the highlight to give it the you know get the final shapes and stuff. Here. Very, very quiet. Is you three I'm going? Watching. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm watching, and I like it. You like what's going? Where it's going? I don't like it. I love it. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Just now I'm going to start thinking about just tightening up the back here. I need to really need this dark back in here to uh, kind of push these guys forward just a little bit more.
few of those. So. Getting Zoom zeroing in on what he's drawn, the drawing is going to be. Andrea, how are you doing? I think they look like swans. But the, <laughs> the little guys look like they got transplanted from gaslings. Ah, uh, gosh, I know what you mean. I know. You know, I always worry about them becoming, you know, cartoony, too. I've done that before, yeah. That happens so easy. Get this guy, knock his, knock his beak down a little bit. Start getting the, get this blue to the right value. It's just right bright right now, but I'll just knock it down a few spots. Should do it. Mm-hmm. You want to see? Oh, just a minute. He, that's his head here. Can you see? Ooh, that pretty. Isn't that pretty? Mama likes it. Yeah. James. Oh, there you go. Mama likes it. <laughs> what, what kind of... What is that? Uh, They're swans. Swans. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Maybe I should ask him to do seagulls next week, Mother. Oh, yeah. Mama wants yeah. you to do seagulls next week. <laughs> yeah, you guys got a lot of seagulls there? No. Oh, yeah. I love seagulls. She loves seagulls. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, they are, they are an animal. That's the Thursday night party. Oh, I don't know. Animal this morning, uh, this morning I got up and I looked outside, and there were two bluebirds. I mean, they were right on this crow's tail Ooh, because yeah. he had been out here trying to get something to eat, and they chased him off. And I mean, they were zooming right on his tail, and he was flying as fast as he could to get away from them. <laughs> it was hilarious. Bluebirds, huh? Pretty tough. Believe bluebirds. I couldn't believe it. But they came and got him again when he got out there. Well, he's probably was like of, digging in the nest, right? Anhinga? Have you ever heard of an anhinga? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, not me. Oh, but. They're interesting in the way they uh, dry their wings by just flapping them. They'll be up and up. Oh, my gosh, yes. There's, yeah. one, across, there's one across the way here. Some of those when the sun hits their black uh, mm -hmm. feathers, when they're wet, 
you every color that you've got here you you see it in the black in their wings with and then they have white that comes underneath so when oh, they yeah. spread their wings it is the most beautiful bird and they call them a snake bird huh. yeah wow yeah. they first time i saw it he had his wings wide open and he went head first and i told mother i said oh my god he's committing suicide <laughs> but he dives <laughs> into the water and they swim under they swim underneath the water and get the fish to eat that is cool yeah it is i learned so many things sitting by this lagoon huh. yeah so you have heard of the Anhinga bird before? Not you, James. What was her name? Andrea. I no, Andrea. I saw when I was in Southern Florida. The kids are real little and we couldn't help but notice yeah. tree tops just spanning their wings. Is it was quite interesting actually. They have quite a wingspan too, it looks like. Yes, they do. I will have to take a look. They sound it's very interesting. Yes, I did one in, um, they made me take a mosaic class out here, here in Lake Jackson one weekend. And I thought, well, I want to do an Anhinga. Well, let me tell you what, <laughs> that was, you, oh my gosh, it took me all day long. And I think I cut my finger a thousand times because their wings, when they have them spread, are, are kind of pointed and they uh -huh. hang down. They're beautiful, but you had to cut each one of those pieces of glass. Uh -oh. in that pointed shape and then the glass that I got had um, kind of a opalesque opal opalized what's the word I want to use I don't know shape uh, pearlized yes oh, pearlized. pearlized look to they had all the different colors in their wings it really turned out pretty cool I would say yeah that sounds nice was you know you know you still have to you know you got beat up a little bit but you got a nice hopefully you still have a piece or somebody does right i learned a lesson that i would rather paint than do mosaic <laughs> oh yeah i tell that's, you that's the best 75 dollar lesson i've ever learned mm -hmm. i'll not do it again there's a lot of yeah just doing that i mean just all the materials too and the glass and everything All right. so good. Just gotta keep hitting those highlights one more time. Just really pop these highlights right here. Get get the right stroke on them. I'm gonna clean my brush. I think I'm just gonna put them in a different brush. A little bristle here. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes it keeps the gold on my Okay, I'll come make you some peanut butter and honey crackers in a minute. Oh, we're getting hungry here. <laughs> yeah. Good food. I have to make her peanut butter and honey crackers before I go to bed and then cut her up apples. Yeah. So she can get up in the middle of the night. She can't sleep. She's so uncomfortable. She's sleeping in one of those lift chairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry for that, that boy. Oh, I know. I, it just makes you want to cry when you look at her. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is now I'm going to, one of the things I'm going to do is just. I got these yellows in here and sometimes you just can't get them hot enough. So sometimes you got to give them something to feed off of. That's why I put in a little white blue here. This is that really light blue. And if I put it right behind it, you know, all of a sudden it'll, you get this, you'll get the sparkle hmm. of, uh, of white and stuff. So I always look for that just like that. I always do this whenever I look for snow too. Kind of like yellow and high, a high key white like this. Yeah, I just love that one painting before all this COVID stuff ha happened that you have in the gallery in Lagrange, of all the blue snow and shadows behind the tree. 
and the oh yeah behind. I really like the, those kind of effects, but it's hard to pull off where the tree is glowing from the sun behind it. Oh no. my gosh, yes. I love those yeah. kind of paintings. Yeah. So. Spectacular one. <laughs> if I had the money then, I would love to have bought it. <laughs> That's how much I like it. <laughs> yeah. Super. Just going to think about brightening that up a little bit. I'm go back here and turn this down a little pink on the back end going down, so I gotta figure out this. I think I got this too far. Okay. Okay. So how are you feeling there, Andrea? Are you both doing well? Uh, you know, the way the necks turned out, it's yeah. almost uh, yeah. not showing against the water quite right. That, you know, the contrast, it's, uh -huh. oh, it's, I'm not coming off with it. I have a crappy picture of, this, of the painting, of uh, the original subject matter. Right. Is it problematical to go back in the water trying to touch up or you start fussing then? You know what I mean? No, I mean, that's why I was trying to get some of these things in here first, you know, and then when I, I can always put in, I can always put in the highlights and stuff, but you know, it's like sometimes you just, they, you just, they just, sometimes they just need to be put in together, but, uh, Certain things like the highlights and stuff can be put in later, but I like just the way the blendings go. So, uh, I'm just gonna, I think it's about getting close here, not done. Right. It's getting to the point where it's, I got it blocked in, I'm starting to correct a few things. You know, I'll probably just, uh, make a video of a... The way you're showing your little uh, babies there, I don't know that I want to add to it. It looks great on yours, but... I, it's yeah. Like, uh, if I just took them out even, I wouldn't miss them the way it's going on my painting. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you well, know, okay. Let me see. You want to, you're about ready to show? Maybe I could get rid of the, the little babies. <laughs> I think I yeah. Could. Yeah. Go ahead, show it to me. Let's see it. Oh, you guys are pressing. Okay, let's see. Um, I still got <laughs> Look at her setup. I know, she's awesome. Oh, my. Oh, well done, those are. Very, oh very. Oh, my gosh. Good. Look at, they, they have oh, such a. Oh, that's beautiful. That has a great feel. I like the way you, uh, look at those ducklings back there. Look like they're peeking over. Right. That's you know that tells a very that tells a very good story. You think so? Oh I, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I would. Sometimes it's not worth messing with. Okay. And stuff. And it, the colors are starting to come around so well. The water is very close to their neck value. Look at that head. That head. That's the gorgeous. Okay. I guess that's beautiful. Yeah, a little bit, but. Um, yeah, not sure. <laughs> and I still got to work on the berry background, but this is quite Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think you got to you, look at that. I love, you know, I like the look way at you her color. The, throat, the necks, the neck, and, the, and in, the, in the body. You can really feel the volume of that of that guy. Very nice. I love the warmth, how, how orangey you did go up there in the purpley on the on the underneath and just a little bit of the blue showing through yeah, I'm very to go nice the lighter value with the per light purple behind the female even to bring her out because they didn't make the neckline as dark as yours so then i realized i got a a little bit of a contrast problem i mean it's dark but i got to work on her uh face a little yet yeah yeah the male one i can is convincing um 
He looks good. He looks really good. I mean, that's hey, you can, you can only have so much time. That's going to be a gorgeous little painting when you're done. But it's yeah. a subject matter. I'd rather paint swans than geese. <laughs> okay. All right. At least sure. experience up here. <laughs> Those yeah, yeah. Are devilish. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this one, everything has to be, I mean, in the background here. You know, it has to be, uh, have a couple some more loving going on there, definitely. You know, it's up there. I want to put in a couple, just a couple little, like, plates, scratches for uh, for some of the buildings back in here and little rooftops, and that's it. So some light barely hitting, hitting them. Could you uh, show close up of the faces of the two adult swans, just on how you, wanna, you, you, wanna, how you use the yellow, uh, the lighter uh, shades? Oh, I came up here and stuff like that. I like the way you did the glow. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Yeah, I pushed it a little bit and stuff. I I can see it a lot more in my monitor. Than I can see it on my uh, in the in the photo and stuff. Really neat. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Just like some of the things you do, just pushing them a little bit. Now I just gotta kind of go back and uh, correct some shapes, little shape designs and. Really, you know, figure out. I'm missing just one thing here. Just on the back edge of this this color here, I just need a it needs to be a brighter uh, orange kind of color right back there in the line. I think uh, we'll pop those pop that wing back up. Just just too plain right now. So little things here yet. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry. A lot of subject. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, great. Thanks. I had fun too. I mean, I just, you know, I've had this one sitting around and stuff kind of going, I'm, I I want to paint it some sometime pretty soon. So, it, you know, I kind love of it. this class. So, <laughs> anyone else? Oh, cool. Thank you for letting me sit in. Oh, no, sure. no I'll see you on next Thursday. <laughs> okay. We'll see you. Good luck with those good All right. Bye bye. All right. Nice yeah, good luck with your mom. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> I will. Thanks Remember, again. you're supposed to do a seagull next week. <laughs> <laughs> Popular to me. How about a pelican? Oh, yeah. That'll they're... work. <laughs> Those are fun. Those are fun. Bye. Bye. All right. Take care. All right. Bye. All right, Andrea. We'll see you later. All right. We'll do. Bye. Bye.